Hello, welcome to my channel. As you see, currently looking at a mini, so it is pretty dark out here, but so this is the mini that we're looking at. So what it is here, so diagnose is it has an airbag warning light on. If we have a look inside the car, someone's even gone through the trouble of actually putting so we go over the top I'm trying to break the light out so done the diagnostic scan to see what fault codes are in there and what it's coming up with is saying that every single airbag on the car is faulty and again as you can see here we have an internal control unit fault so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to this control unit so it is actually communicating. These are the faults that are stored. So we have got comms. So I'm gonna get there, then we're gonna measure to see if one of these is open circuit. Well, if the airbag is, the resistance is there, then we'll be diagnosing it further to see what is going on. So let's get to the airbag control unit and I'll show you where that is. So, Looking at these fault codes, we're gonna have a look to see what is going on. So, got the wiring diagram up, and as you can see here, front left seat belt pretensioner. So that was one of the faults that was listed. So as you see, belt tensioner from passenger side. And as you can see here, it says it is a yellow and red, and yellow and brown wire and it's in A1 and A2, so pins one and two. So if we look at the vehicle. So looking in the car, what I've had to do is I've had to move the seat on this side, I've had to do the same with the seat on that side. I've had to move the trim that goes in the center, lift this trim up, pull the carpet as well. So remove the trims that run down the side here of the car. And again, rear seat belts. So I did that on both sides, I've lifted all this up. Disconnected the airbag control unit, so I took the battery off. Disconnected the airbag control units underneath here. And as you can see, I fed the wiring back up through the carpet. So looking at the wiring, it said it was red. So it says yellow red, yellow and brown. So as you can see there, that's what we've got on this one wire. So it says it's in one and two of the plug connectors. So I have took the cover off of this as well. So there was a cover that just snitched straight off. So this is number one. It's numbered on the actual connector, but this is number one on this side. So as you can see here, we have the right pins. So I'm gonna get a resistance measurement here across these two and see what we're getting. So this would be what the control unit can see. Let's see what we've got. So I've got the multimeter. So I think it's a resistance measurement that we need to make first. So first thing you need to do is just touch your wires like so. Make sure you get a good reading. So as you can see, we have a bit of resistance there. So try and switch it again. So as you can see, Make sure it's zeroing. So this is me just wiggling them around it's quite hard with one hand and they've got gloves on. So we are going to get a little bit of resistance there. So and there you go, open circuit. So one thing I did note as well is that this side also says it is one and two, so I believe it's just the first colours. And again you can see these are red and brown. So yellow and brown, yellow and red. So if you have a look at this plug connector here, there's only Two wires, so four wires, which are the first ones. So I did do a quick check. I'm just going to get this set up now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back probe these. So I'm going to put these in the back, and then I'll show you what resistance values we've got. So as you can see, I'm in the connector now. So I've back probe into the two wires. So 
the red and brown, sorry, the yellow and brown, yellow and red. And as you can see here, we have got a resistance reading for this airbag. So everything looks like it is all good there. So to me, there's resistance there. The wiring isn't an open circuit. It's not shorted together. That wiring from this connector all the way through the body around to this seat, to this pretensioner is all okay. So what we need to do now is this control unit is faulty. So it's not gonna fault with this airbag or pretensioner when there isn't a fault there. So I can do the rear bag. I have interest just to see what we got as well, just to make sure there's a side airbag there. And we'll have a look, see what we've got with the side airbag for the passenger seat. So if you have a look, there was two connectors and the other one's exactly the same. So this is yellow and brown on this side. And again, it was the same on that scene. If you have a look at this connector, again, there's only two wires, which are yellow and brown right next to each other. So I checked them two, they're open circuits. They must be for this side. And then we've got these two. So just back probing again to get the resistance of that airbag. And look, it's, just, it's the same reading, so. I always like to think our airbags are roughly about the same on the car, so between two to five ohms, so we were okay there. So again, that circuit, so that's two circuits we check now that are okay. So we will condemn the airbag control module on this car. We'll get a replacement. Let's see if we can get this fixed. So I've got the car back together now, so all of the modules back in, so whatever you do, when you come to change an airbag control module, you must bolt it down. Obviously, disconnect the battery, connect the connector. Whatever you do, though, just make sure that that control module is bolted down. So don't ever flip it over because it'll think that the car's gone on its roof and all the airbags will go off. So make sure you bolt it down as it should be before you ever plug an airbag control module in. Let's see, everything is all back as it should be. I've got the light now on. I've took that funny sticker off. So as you can see now, the actual airbag light is on. So just gonna see now whether we've got a fix. So read the fault codes and straight away, already went into this. So I tested it with the one seat. I had this one undone. So I see the front right seat, the driver's side wasn't connected. So I've connected everything up now. So let's just see now whether it's, we've got a fix. So clear completed, read fault codes. No fault. And as you see, it's flashing. So if we go back into that, so that's all okay. No faults are coming back, so it's flashing at the moment. So should we cycle the ignition? So let's turn that off. Let's stick that back on so the light comes on. It should go off again. There we go, fantastic. Let's just check again one last time after we cycle the ignition. Read fault code, no fault code. So that's all okay. The light starts to flash when we go into the read the fault codes as well. So I believe that's what's happening there. So we're just coming out of that control module now. So I'm out of the control module. So let's just do that again. And I haven't got the seatbelt on either. Let's just shut this down now. Let's start the car up as you would do. Just put my seatbelt on, like you would if you were driving the car. Make sure everything's good. There we go, the seatbelt's on. is all good so that's me then pulling down back up that's what that light was at so let's see now that is all good so we've got a fix here so we're happy with that so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and i'll try and get more of these videos out there thank you for watching